degree weather in Tampa, Florida. Well, <laughs> how much money, I hate to bring up money, but how much money is riding on this kick right here for the University of Connecticut? Well, you know what? You think about what Boise State has been through and Kyle Bronsman and the two missed field goal attempts there. Dave Taggart now in a similar position right now, kicking his team into or out of a BCS bid here with 23 seconds to go. With a chance to make history. He got it! Dave Taggart nails it from 52. Clutch City. Dave Taggart may have just kicked his team into the BCS. I have to go back again. The kickoff return by Fry setting up the place kick by Taggart. And Mark, what about the punter tonight? Cole Wagner, the freshman with field position. UConn. Now has to kick the football off to Lindsey Lamar, who's an excellent return man as well. I doubt that you will see this ball get in Lindsey Lamar's hands right here. Boy, you can't say enough about the clutch kicking of number 38, Dave Tegger. Four field goals made tonight. Had a career long of 50, and then usurped that with a 52-yarder to send them potentially to the BCS game. Yeah, and Cole Wagner, the freshman, six punts, 54 yards a punt. Wow. They kick it deep. <laughs> They're going to challenge him. Lamar Lindsey. And he's brought down harmlessly at the 22-yard line. 11 seconds to go, UConn with one timeout remaining. The Huskies 11 seconds away from winning the Big East. And Zach Fraser, boy, what a comeback it's been for him this year. Looking for their fifth consecutive win. It all seemed dead in the water for UConn after that shutout loss against Louisville. So he's counting to make sure we have 11, baby. And you know he's saying back up. Evel looking for one more miracle. And incomplete with five seconds to go intended for Bogan. Mark. The journey. Yes, Ten years ago, a 1AA program. I was in their facilities. The worst I have ever seen. Maybe Starting even down. high school, the worst I have ever seen. Now they're on the verge right here. One play for a BCS bowl bid right here. Looking for their eighth win of the season. Their first win ever here in Tampa against USF. And the first ever BCS Bowl bid. Mark, they may go to a BCS Bowl tonight winning a game. No offensive points in this game for UConn. But that's their style of play. 19 points, not one offensive point in this game. A real monument to throw back football tonight. This is it right here. And look back at free safety, number 94. Probably the tallest guy on UConn's team back in the middle of the field at free safety. Talk about playing it safe. Evel going to chuck this one up Hail Mary style. And the Huskies are going to a BCS bowl game for the first time in the program's history. A decade ago, it was just a dream for them to make it this far. But now it's a reality, and Randy Edsel has made it happen. And they don't need to apologize to anybody. Let's go, 
about going to a BCS bowl game. They earned every bit of it. They were 0-2 in the Big East, 3-4 and overall. And it all started with that fumble by West Virginia on the one-yard line. And Quinn is downstairs with Coach Edsel. Coach, congratulations. 17 seconds to go. You send Dave Taggart out for a 52-yarder. How do you best describe your emotions? Got to win the game. You know, I said we got to win the game. He's demonstrated in practice. He could go up to about 60 yards. And uh, we came here to win, you know, and you had to take the shot at it. And just a typical UConn game. Yeah, why? In what way? We find a way to win, which is what we've done the last. We play 60 minutes, do it with defense, you know, enough in the running game, opportunistic on uh, uh, defense, offense. We did enough. And uh, you know what? I'm just so proud of these kids and these coaches. I mean, seven years in this, and we're going to a BCS game. It don't get any better than that. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, how do you put that in perspective, what you've been able to accomplish? You know what? It's, it's really hard to say right now, but I don't think – People realize what we've been able to do in a short period of time, and and it just again goes to the character and the quality of these kids and the quality of this coaching staff. And um, I'm just so proud for all the people in the state of Connecticut and all Let's of our fans. Go, Coach, congratulations. Appreciate it very much. Back up in the Nutmeg State, Bob in Connecticut, they got to feel really great about how far this program has come. How does how does UConn against Oklahoma or Nebraska in the Fiesta Bowl sound? Ten years ago, if you just said that to somebody. Would they have believed that? <laughs> they might have thought it was a good basketball game. Not anymore. Football has arrived in a big way in Storrs, Connecticut. Zach Frazier, the quarterback, the guy that's led them to the five consecutive wins with anxious moments, not even looking, <laughs> waiting, nervously anticipating the final verdict, and then exhaling when it's all said and done. A look of disbelief and then finally some exultation written across his face and for coach Edsel the Gatorade bath which feels especially good in these balmy climbs here in Tampa. They're